Okay, here are going to be the Calculus AVAP test questions 25 and 26. 25 simply says integrate um, 1 over 9 plus x squared um, dx. And the thing that you need to remember basically is <coughs> the formula you need to remember is that the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx, recall that this equals arctangent of x. Okay, plus c or whatever. So certainly that's going to be important, and that's what we're using here. The idea is, though, we have to make our integral look more like this. And the first thing we're going to do is make, instead of a 9, we want a 1. So the way that we'll do that is, um, I like to pull my dx over to the side, so I'm going to do that. Put a 1 on top. I'm going to factor a 9 out of the denominator. Okay, so if you pull a 9 out of the first term, well, 9 times 1 will give you 9. Well, we would actually need x squared over 9 so that when we distribute, we just simply get our x squared term back. So I'm going to factor the 1 9th out front. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rewrite x squared over 9 as a quantity squared. Well, I think if we write that as x over 3 quantity squared, if we square the top and square the bottom, we'll get back x squared over 9. And at this point, what we do is we do a u substitution. Okay, so I'm going to let u equal x over 3, or equivalently, 1 third x. Um, we calculate the differential, we'll get 1 third dx. Okay, so in my problem, I think when I go to relabel everything here, uh, when I go to relabel, my 1 ninth is still out front. Okay, I've got 1 plus, well, x over 3, again equivalently, that's 1 third x. That's what we're calling u, and that's being squared. I would like to have a 1 dx left over in my problem, but instead I have 1 third dx. Well, if I multiply both sides by 3, it says 3 du is going to be equivalent to dx. So I'll have a 3 du being replaced. Uh, that will be replacing my dx term. Okay, now we're almost there. We've kind of done the tricky part of these problems. The 3 I'm going to pull out front <clears throat> and multiply that by the 1 ninth, so I'll get 3 ninths. Okay, and I'll reduce that in just a second. And then we've got 1 over 1 plus u squared du. Well, now this is just our arctangent formula. So again, we'll get 1 third. Um, when we integrate, we get arctangent of u plus c, and I've erased it, but remember our u substitution, we let u equal x over 3, um, and this will be our solution. It says the antiderivative will be 1 third arctangent of x over 3. Okay, so let's look at one more here. Um, let me find number 26 here. Okay, 26 is just another derivative problem. Um, <coughs> Nothing too bad if you understand the notation and the chain rule. So in 26, they give you that f of x is cosine cubed of x plus 1. They say if that's the case, then f prime of pi, we want to know what that equals. Okay, the first thing I would do is simply rewrite my original function. Um, I'm going to rewrite it as cosine x plus 1, all of that being cubed. That's what this notation means. I prefer to see it this way because it makes me think of, um, to use the chain rule. So when I take the derivative, the 3 comes out front. We leave the inside alone. Take 1 away from our exponent. We have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of cosine will be negative sine. Again, we leave the inside alone, um, x plus 1. Now we have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside the parentheses, but that would just be a times 1. Okay, well, all we have to do then is plug in pi, so it says f prime of pi will be 3 times cosine, and the way they write their solutions, they pull the square back over, so cosine squared of pi plus 1. Um, this negative that we picked up from taking the derivative of the cosine to get negative sine, I'm actually going to pull that out front. 
So there we have negative 3 cosine squared, so that takes care of my negative. Um, and then we would have sine of, well, again, we're plugging in pi, so just pl pi plus 1. And that will be our derivative. That's how they write it. Negative 3 cosine squared pi plus 1 times sine of pi plus 1. All right, two more questions um, in the first part of this test. So stick around, and after that, I think, is the free response or basically the section actually where you can't use a calculator. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them, um, and hopefully either me or somebody can help you out.